Okay, this is the update for the scale mail project I've been working on. I thought I would do something a little different this time and do a video update, as that's what all the cool kids do on that internet thing I've heard about so much. So right now, you can see we're on panel number two. Panel number one was finished a little earlier in the week. I started panel number two essentially yesterday in the park, and it's going a lot faster. I have the rhythm of it down now. So you can see we're already almost halfway done with one panel in two days, whereas it took me a week to do the first one. I was still sort of feeling my way around how I wanted to do it. So really this is going to go just faster and faster as I go with it. Um, a few questions that people ask me about how many scales are going into this. The sort of math of it is that a full square foot would take approximately 300 of these scales. Right now, this piece has 155 scales in it, so each of those pieces will have 155 scales, plus additional scales that will go into a seam that will connect them all, and possibly a smaller diamond, which is going to go here, and that will be to support belt loops. As we actually shove these together and you sort of get a feel for it, that is what this is going to start to look like, hopefully, by the end of next week and we'll have three panels, one next to the other. On the back side of it, let's see if I can actually zoom in enough that you'll be able to see this. You can see here all the links together. I'm going to be taking rings. Originally I was going to use micro mesh, which is what I wanted to use, because you can get machine welded chain mail in very, very small millimeter, about a quarter of the size of this. And these are already, you can see, very tiny rings that is really strong, really lightweight. It's actually the stuff they make um, the shark diving suits out of and just make a loop out of it and connect it to the back. Not going to have the time to order that. I don't think Joe is going to have the money to order that. So what we're going to do is take these links here and double them up and go back and forth and back and forth. So basically get almost like a cross pattern and loop that connecting from here down to this fourth scale, which is still a three inch gap, and we'll make manual belt loops directly into the back of this. Now these three connecting points on the three panels may be enough that I don't need to put this diamond in here, but I might need to anyway. We'll test it out. We'll see how it sits on the belt, and hopefully I'll be able to show you how that looks next week. What I may do also is another video just with a tutorial on how to get started on this in case people really want to do it themselves. The one thing that's kind of neat about it is when you look at the big piece, it holds its shape very well. The small piece, if I was to pick it up here, you can sort of see what's happening. At the top, this stuff really holds its shape based on its own weight. So when you're really getting started, when you're building out along that initial edge from the point out to as far as you're going to take it, it does not hold its shape well at all. And you can see that down here in the corner, it's kind of folding in, it's kind of falling apart. Not falling apart so much, but it just doesn't hold that nice pattern. So, you really need to just sort of have some patience with it and build it much further out. When you start getting to a point that you're building down, it begins adding weight and mass to it. And that mass is what allows it to keep this nice form. So you can see down in this corner here how or trying to bunch up a little bit and you give it a shove and it's fine. Now the goal for this is, is that this is going to be part of an SCA suit of armor. So this 3 p.m. panels are going to be hanging off that belt. They're going to be going over the back side of the person who's wearing it attached to a main suit of armor, probably anchored off one of the corners either to the belt itself to keep it from sliding forward and backward or up directly into the armor. I haven't made a determination on that yet. So that way when a shot comes across, because you know they swing rattan at one another, it's going to come across laterally, and if it hits him in the butt, this will give a little bit of a cushion. You know, it's not going to be padded, it's still going to hurt, but you won't have you know that direct rattan on flesh contact. The other nice thing about it is scales, by their nature, want to have things slide down them once they're anchored. So I mean, if you sit here and look at this, it's just going to go... Really, it's going to encourage the force that's coming at him if someone's swinging down, sort of hit that and slide down it. So hopefully that will help the pain factor there for him. 
and as soon as I have a battle update and how this stuff performs, I will post an update on it. Alright everybody, until next week.